humanity is done forever. Um, and who wow. knows about all the other shows. So yeah, there, there's so many performers and stuff like that. That's just, and me being one of them, you know, like, Now, <clears throat> for anybody, if this is your first episode of Beyond the Cypher with Ill Skills, uh, we definitely like to talk about more than uh, just the dance, right? Um, we like to talk about just real life things that affect b-boys, especially as we get older, right? Like you said, you're in your 30s. I'm in my 40s. Um, you're, you're a dad, right? Yes. And a husband, right? Cause I don't, like it even says it like on your Instagram. It's like artist, pro b-boy, husband father right yeah um first off like what has that experience been like for you man being like being a father and you have sons correct yeah i have yeah i have sons um it's it's been amazing man like you know my my oldest is 14 so you know, i was a i was a pretty young dad i was like 23 when um when my son was born so um you know, at first, you know, I was scared, you know, because everyone's like, oh, you're so young. And, you know, so the first and I was a B-boy. I didn't have to make a lot of money <laughs> at the time. I was young. I didn't need a lot. I was just there apartment and, you know, I was just eating fast food. I wasn't taking, you know, I didn't spend a lot of money. Like, you know, I just didn't need to make a lot of money. So I didn't need a lot. But then, you know, I found out I'm having a child. So, like, the first thing I did was like, all right, I got to, like, get jobs. <laughs> you know? so I went right, 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 right jobs I was like bar backing somewhere else I was promoting at these clubs and and um and I was doing that to to you know make sure that you know we had enough money and you know uh at, at the time the, the babe uh, my son's mother also you know she, she was working too but we you know it was definitely like that push like all right I gotta be responsible you know yeah and about like six months into that like like there's an opportunity for me to go to like uh I was going to go to Iceland and do a, a TV show with Knucklehead Zoo and stuff like that, right? Oh, so wow. I had a job, like, uh, and, and the job, man, they were, like, treating me like garbage. You know, a lot of these jobs, too, you know, they're just, it's just very, like, especially at the time in Vegas was so popping, they're just like, all right, if, if, if you can't do the schedule, then it's all right, we can let you go. Because it's, it's uh, you know, in Vegas. A revolving it's a, door. Hey, you know, so they can fire you for anything. Right. So, so they told me, oh, they wouldn't give me the time off. And, I, and the management kept changing over there. I was like, man, this place is garbage. And I just realized, like, you know what? Like, this isn't me, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I got to, like, do me. Like, if I can't, if I can't be, be happy, you know what I'm saying? Like, then what kind of father would I even end up, you know? Right. So I was like, right, I quit. <laughs> I told I was like, okay, I'm not. You won't. <laughs> I was like, I quit, <laughs> you know? And then I, I went on that trip, man. I never turned back. And I just, I made it happen. And I, I like, ended up getting some shows and things like that and just finding my way, you know, but definitely okay. it was um, just choice. Oh, my bad. But it was definitely just a choice I had to make. I was like, you know what? I'm a B-boy and a father and I'm going to make it work. And, and when you right. commit yourself, you can, you, you make it happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Word, man. So to close out, um, as, as a dancing community, Right. And with a lot of us actually, you know, being fathers, um, how, from your perspective, do we walk that thin line and balance our lives as far as fatherhood and dancer? Especially if we're in a situation like yours where the dance is also part of, you know, the income used to provide for those kids. Yeah, um, yeah it's a fine it's a fine line. But I think what. Um what I realized is that it, it all goes, it all coincides together. You know, it's like as much love as I showed, you know, my family, my, my sons, my kids, you know, myself, my career dance, you know, like I, sh I try to just be 100% with, with what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Anything that I do, I'm going to do my best, you know, if I'm a, you know, and I apply that to every aspect of my life and, that's that's how i was how I, I make it work you know what i mean i think if i if i just focused on all right i have to be this best dancer or b-boy so that my my kids can be good you know it kind of leaves things uneven you know what i mean and then what happens you just end up showing so much love to to one side that's like how can you you know 
how can your kids be good if you're over here only focusing on this? You know what I mean? So it, it was really about me understanding that I had to put my full, my best foot forward in all aspects of that. And, you know, and that took, and that's, you know, coming from, you know, a guy that's been a father for 14 years, you know, while I was doing this and, I, and that's what I've learned, you know, right. So that you know, when I start, you know, just kind of, you know, maybe stressing out so much on career stuff, like it, it has an effect on your family and your kids, you know? So, you know, whatever you do, you got just love it. You know what I mean? Love it, have fun with it, you know, and, and, and have faith, you know what I mean? Have faith in yourself, you know? No doubt. Well, there it is. There it is. Ben Stacks. Yeah, yeah. Knucklehead Zoo. Super right. Crew. Las Vegas. Sin City <laughs> Superman. Straight yeah. out of Las Vegas. We appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your experiences with us, man. You have a wealth of experiences, you know, from battling to, you know, the shows and competing on TV. And like you, like we ended with, just being a family man and a father man and all that stuff is valuable to our mission, which is to show the humanity and the superhuman. You got the superhuman down for sure. You got the human down for sure, man. And we want to just thank you, man, and say peace. Hey, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beyond the cipher, you know what I'm saying? Ben Stacks, I'm out here. Still out here, baby. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Word. For more quality content from Beyond the Cypher with Ill Skills, don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons. Let us know how we're doing in the comment section. And to make sure you don't miss anything from the channel, go ahead and smash that notification bell. We appreciate the love and support so far. So peace until the next episode.